Hello, I'm Bearer of Curses, and today I want to show you some really unique base locations in Project Zomboid. Alright, so the first one that I want to show you is these cabins um, that are close to Muldraw. If you open PZ Interactive Map while you're in Muldraw, you're at the gas station, the gas to go, um, that is on this side of town here. If you take the road to the left and at this crossroads, take this crossroads down, and then this first road here, not the first one here, but actually the second turn that you can take after the crossroads. This road all the way, the two curves, one, two, and then when you get to this crossroads right here, you can take this crossroads down, take the curve, and basically just keep following this road until you find this brown trail. So if you're playing with a group of friends, this is a really good spot. Uh, you can get a trailer. You might have to couple. You might have to chop a couple of trees down to get into here, but for the most part, if you get here early enough, it should be fine. But you can pack a trailer with a grill, some propane tanks, some fishing gear. Um, I guess whatever you might need, like some bunks. You know, there's some bunks at the tavern in Muldra that you can easily pick up and bring with you. But yeah, you can see the forest is really, really thick here, but. This place is definitely worth basing up and it's a really cool area and um, I'll show you it here in a second. The house on the other side of this lake actually has something really cool in it and that is one of these antique stoves so you can chop wood and uh, this area is freaking crazy. I mean you can set up a fence, grow food and uh, if you bring friends out here there's multiple cabins so you can actually you know house more than one person comfortably and you know somebody can fish somebody can grow food this place is really fun if you're looking for like an outdoor experience so next we have the large apartment complex in Louisville which some of you might know this as the penthouse and it is like five or six stories tall maybe a little bit taller and now if you look when i'm zooming out it is basically right in the middle of louisville and for me the easiest way to find this is using pz interactive map finding this like main road so i'm at the very top of the apartment complex right now and if you get here um, there's going to be a lot of zombies. There's going to be a lot of zombies. So you're going to be, you're going to want to be like well equipped with ammo, guns and ammo, and uh, basically everything that you can. This is a good group, um, another good group building, but it is also good solo. So you have a nice deck out there that you can put a grill, and some propane out there. Um, there's a nice kitchen and some bedrooms and stuff. But if I go down a floor on this penthouse. Uh, it is full of apartments to loot so there's a ton of loot in these apartments especially late game and this apartment complex also has a chance to spawn as like a uh, what is it called like a, one of those raider houses or something like where it's boarded up and you can loot and you see I just keep going down these stairs and it's multiple floors of loot and you can like block these stairs off with refrigerators um, that way like zombies can't get up they can break the fridges but like for the most part if you block multiple floors off you'd be pretty safe upstairs so here's the parking garage you can fit plenty of cars in here but yeah that is number two the penthouse or the large apartment complex number three on this list is i guess we'll call it house by the lake there's multiple things to this area you can see we got this house it's a two-story house it's got a garage a fireplace plenty of trees around to chop and there's a dock out here so you get a build off of it or you could even go fishing off of it. And there is a lake here to fish off of, a river to fish off of. There's this house with the antique stove and like the deer head mount. And this is what it looks like when you get here. Actually, let me take a seat real quick. So this is what it looks like when you get here. It's just like a normal house, um, two-story house, but there is a fireplace in there. Uh, it is a pretty nice house to loot and everything like that, and there's a couple houses here. I would recommend um, bringing a vehicle along. Uh, you can even drive the vehicle on the riverbank here, um, just with some supplies uh, that you'd want to bring along, uh, just so you can drive back to town if you need to. Here is number four 
which is going to be this river boat. I don't know if this town has a name, but you can get to it from Riverside or from Rose or yeah, from uh, Rosewood. I usually, if I'm gonna come to here, will spawn in Riverside and I'll just get a car and you can follow the road, the main road down to this main road down here. And you can follow the road all the way up here until this curve and then go up on the curve, follow it and just come all the way over. Now there is a blockade here and here, but you can, uh, on this side, if you, I mean, on this side's a little bit easier. If you have an ax, you can just chop some of these trees and uh, drive around the blockade. All right, so I'm in the game now and uh, we're at the boat. And this is a pretty cool place. This is just a pretty uh, unique location to base up, in my opinion. And uh, it's actually a pretty spacey kitchen. Plenty of room for fishing and stuff like that. Upper part of the deck, um, there's like a few floors. So here's like the top floor. And you can come in here and there's like some seating and you know some tables and some cool art and stuff like that some plants so for number five i'm not actually going to show in game but i do want to show it on the project zomboid interactive map and it is a location that has a well and uh, if you zoom out here um there's plenty of like farmland and stuff like that and uh, there's a couple houses and like a farm over here so if you're like playing with mods and have like a tractor mod or something this would be a pretty cool spot but i've always liked the well locations just because without mods it's a pretty good way to get like infinite water you are pretty far out there so you're gonna want to bring trailer with you full of supplies before you come out here from Muldra, let's say this is the gas station down here you can come out to, to the main road and take a left down here take a right take a right follow this path and then go down this main road, the dirt road. If you take a right right there, you can follow this paved or this uh, dirt road and make your way to the well. There is uh, five pretty unique uh, locations in Project Zomboid to start a base. If you liked this video, please subscribe and thinking about making some more of these because there's definitely more unique locations in Project Zomboid. So yeah, I will see you next time.